morning guys welcome to my channel my name is dawn and this channel is dawn does keto this channel is all about my accountability and my personal journey on the ketogenic diet this month we are doing a carnivore challenge it's an elimination diet referred to as beef butter bacon and egg or bbb and e Rather than showing you what I packed in my lunch this morning because it's the fifth day and I've literally packed the same exact thing every day. Spoiler alert, it's hard boiled eggs, bacon, and a fat coffee. I am preparing a meatloaf, a BBB&E meatloaf for dinner tonight and I thought I would show you how I'm doing that. I just got out of the shower so my hair is wet. Sorry about that, I haven't quite got ready for my day but I wanna get this meatloaf prepared so that when Mike gets home, he usually beats me here, he can get that thrown in the oven and we can stay on track for eating before seven for sure but earlier is always nice. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing here. Okay, inside this bowl I already have two pounds of ground beef. I'm going to add one egg and I'm gonna add two cups of pork panko. Then it's just a matter of like whatever spices you want. So obviously I'm gonna salt and pepper this. Salt. I'm gonna use some Italian seasonings. Might be easier to do it this way. And now I'm just adding some minced garlic. My hands are clean, so I'm just gonna give this all a really good mix and get everything incorporated together. I forgot I wanted to add some onion powder to this. So I'll get that mixed in. Okay, I have about 11 to 12 strips of bacon here. So all I'm gonna do Kind of lay the bacon down in here and hopefully it doesn't fall in. And then I'm just gonna eyeball my meatloaf here because I do two small meatloafs instead of one large one. It cooks up faster that way. It doesn't have to cook for like two hours. I'm gonna make a loaf out of one of these and kind of press it down in there. And then I'm just gonna kind of fold the bacon in. And there you have a bacon wrapped meatloaf. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the other one. Try to make sure it's not like higher in the middle just because then the center won't cook as well the outsides will probably get overdone and there we have it our two meatloafs are ready to go meat loaves actually is the proper way to pronounce it and I'm gonna just pop these in the fridge and then they'll be ready when Mike gets home. He can put them in the oven at 350 degrees. It'll probably take about an hour. I think they say until the internal temperature is 160 degrees. That's what's for dinner tonight. We'll see you guys after a bit. So we're back. We're sitting down and having the meatloaf that you guys saw me prepare earlier. I'm having a little bit of mustard on mine. Wait a minute. Something doesn't look right on this picture. Why? What's wrong? Are we sitting in the right spots? So you guys know yesterday I was talking on the video about how Mike didn't like it because with my phone, everything in the background is flopped. You know, like things on your shirt, writing, things on the walls. I get a message from our wait friend. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean I didn't like it? You had said before in the video you were like, I everything's just, backwards. No, I just noticed that on the video when you watch it back. That it's backwards. Everything was backwards. Right. So I, that was what I was saying was that you were like, hey, everything's backwards. Yeah, it wasn't that I didn't like it, but yeah. I think it bothered you, but. <laughs> no, I just noticed it because I, in, when you do normal videos with a camera. It doesn't do that. It doesn't that. do that. So yeah. I never really pay attention, but. Today I get this message from our friend James at Ready Set Keto and he's like, 
You can fix that on your camera, dummy. <laughs> on your phone. <laughs> on your phone. You can fix that on your phone, dummy. And I'm like, I don't know how to do that. Like, that's out of my wheelhouse, guys. You guys don't understand that I am completely technologically challenged. By the way, how's the meatloaf? Good. It could use some gravy, but it's good. It tastes delicious. Can't have gravy on beef, butter, bacon, and egg. I know. I'm well aware. I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So he tells me how to do it. And I go in and I, I fix the first video that I did this morning and flip it around. So to you guys now, it looks like Mike and I have switched sides. But we haven't. It's just like fix the camera. Right. And then he was like, you're welcome. I'm like, really? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm dumb. So tell me you said you were really full at lunch today. So tell me how that went that we changed it up a little bit. Well, I mean, I was starving to death as like around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I usually eat at noon. That's when I break my fast. And I was starving once again, but I was busy today. So it was a little easier to, you know, to like not, hold off. yeah, not think about it because I was doing other things. But then I ended up not actually eating until 1230 <laughs> because I got so busy. I packed a little bit more today in my lunch. So yesterday you guys saw we had the sausage and egg, uh, like breakfast burritos. We each ate three. And so that was the end of the egg life wraps, but there was still like quite a bit of the sausage and egg mixture left. Yeah. So I split it between two containers. And so Mike took one of those. Was that the only thing you took? No, but I also fried up two hamburgers yesterday also. Mm -hmm. And so I took one container of the uh, sausage egg mix, one hamburger, and then a package, a purse thing. Purse, purse bacon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah baggy bacon i did take the rest of the pork rinds that i had but i didn't eat those because okay. by the time i ate the the burger and the sausage egg you know combo thing and the bacon You're which cool. was nice it was a nice the bacon i'm gonna tell you the bacon became like a garnish on both of those items because it added some much needed flavor you know yeah. what I mean? just a different but anyway yeah but I, I had a hard time finishing it actually my burger was um the last couple bites Got a little tough to get them down because I was That's full. That's good. That's the first day probably that you yeah. actually like filled up at lunch. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you something else though. I'm still not drinking a ton of water. I just, I drink when I'm thirsty, but I'm not thirsty all the time. So I mean, I'm not worried about you getting enough water. I'm worried about you getting enough electrolytes. Did you take an electrolyte tablet today? Yeah. Okay. Then you should be fine. I don't want you to force yourself to drink no, water. No, I'm not because I can't. I am just not a water drinker unless I'm really thirsty. Like if it was really hot out mm -hmm. or something. I mean, when I ran track in high school and cross country, guys would be just drinking water like crazy. And I never did. I just never did. Now, when I was done with a race or something, you know, I might drink a lot, but that was it. Yeah. Just not like most people. If I drink two bottles of water a day, that's a lot. You drink two bottles of water at dinner. <laughs> I do miss my flavored electrolytes. Yeah. For sure. I miss my flavored water. I will say the bacon on the meatloaf also adds a flavor to it that if it didn't have, It'd be bland. because we don't have, you know, a keto gravy or something to go well, with it. Well, usually we would use like ketchup or something and like that. And that too, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's the question today? Um, I don't really have a question today, but I did want to tell you guys, especially if you're new to my channel, I don't know if you know this, but we did last year a meetup in Ohio called Keto Ohio. It's usually located somewhere around Columbus. It's about the middle of the state. So that way nobody has like a really far drive. And we're looking at planning another just get together for people in Ohio or the surrounding areas. I mean, if you're willing to drive it, you can come from wherever. We have people from Indiana, we have people from Kentucky, but it will be located in central Ohio. So it's called Keto Ohio. I'm organizing that with Matreya, who is the YouTuber Radical Geek. She lives in the Columbus area. You having issues? Yeah. I'm eating too fast. That's the issue. Really? Mm -hmm. Would have never guessed that. Shocker, I know. We don't have everything set in stone at this time, but we are working on getting another get-together planned. So if you're interested in receiving the information and being on the list of people who receives the emails about our Keto Ohio meetups email me at dawndoesketo at gmail.com and I will make sure that your email gets put on the list to receive all correspondence and, and anything related to Keto Ohio. Do I have to send you my email address? Yeah, or you're not included.
I didn't go to Quito, Ohio the first time because I felt like it was a small group and it was there was limited seating. And I, don't I want think to... we had 23 people there and last I, year. Yeah, I don't remember the exact. And number. actually, if I if I can or I think about it, I will link the video for Keto Ohio. I made a video about it, so if you want to go and watch that and just kind of see what it's about, but we had a lot of giveaways. We had a wonderful meal and just got together and hung out and chatted. Well, I was just saying that I didn't go the first time, but I definitely will be going the second time because it looked like it was a great time and I've gone to Keto Palooza and I went to an indie meetup with Dawn and I really enjoyed it. So I definitely wanna go. And then I want the opportunity to meet some of you that I've not yet met. So hopefully you can make it. If not, there's always Keto Palooza. I'll be there too. But Keto Palooza is a little more expensive. So <laughs> some people it might be a little more difficult. True. The Keto Ohio meetup is just basically getting there and paying for your meal. Yeah. Like there's no cost to it. Last year we did have a Sharon Holloway donated embroidered bags for us, which were great. Again, go watch the video. You can see because we show all that. There's no cost to it, you know, as far as that. The one thing Matreya and I had kind of talked about was maybe doing t-shirts. And if you, you would only have to pay for one if you wanted one. It wouldn't be like everyone has to get one. So it's very right. minimal cost wise. So you said you're in the early stages have you guys talked about location and possibly she sent me like some places in polaris maybe mm -hmm. that might work we were kind of working on a date and she may still want to go ahead and do this date but i kind of screwed up my calendar and we already have something going on that day so i'm not really sure how that's going to work what out day, yet what day is that february 25th what do we got going on the 25th or what do you have going on we have that 70s oh yeah thing, and i already told mindy yes and i was like oh shoot i don't know we'll see so you saw earlier I made two meat loaves. Meat loaves. Meat loaves. And so between Mike and I, we this is one of them. I don't know if you're gonna want more or do you think this is gonna nope. be funny? Um, the third piece of the three is gonna be tough. So we'll have a whole nother one that we can eat like tomorrow or something. Is there any more of the sausage egg thing or did you eat that one? No, I didn't. There's still one more. You can take that to lunch. I wanna make sure you have plenty to eat for lunch. I've been really messed up. As far as like what day of the week it is this week for some reason. I don't know if it's because you didn't go back to work until Tuesday. And I didn't have to go help your mom on Tuesday. I can't believe tomorrow's Friday. It's I'm like glad. I, It's like I lost a day somewhere. I don't know. I'm looking forward to the weekend. So I am done. My plate is empty. And As Mike always. still has one piece left of his meatloaf. That's just the way it always is. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how hard you try. Mmm. Savor. It's always like this. Every video is like this. You're always, you always have more space on your side. I think you're just trying to weasel me out. Yeah. Eventually, I'm going to be sitting over here like this. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to discuss? No. I just kind of wanted to mention Keto Palooza and start talking about that. We just need to get a list of names together. I already have a list started Keto from Ohio. Earth. Keto Ohio. I already have my list from last time and there were people who couldn't come last time that said, you know, if you guys do another one, please let me know. Right. So I have like a master list. I just wanted to make sure if there was anybody else that wanted to be included that we were able to include them. So I guess we'll get back with you guys after I read my chapter in Dr. Barry's book today. I may have to skim over it so I can remember a little bit about it because I mean I read it like three four days ago. Yeah, that's why I told you not to read ahead. Because if you do, then... I know, but we both can't read the same day. There's just no way. It's true. Hey guys, so it's just me. It has been a rough night. It is 10 o'clock and I had some issues with some charges that were on my Amazon Prime that I should have not gotten charged for and Mike ended up getting stuck at his mom and dad. So he's not even back yet. So I wanted to go ahead and get this video wrapped up. I did read chapter three in Dr. Barry's book and the lie that this chapter focused on was the fact that fat and eating fat caused high cholesterol, obesity, and heart disease. He goes goes into how that lie started and where when it happened and how the study was flawed so that was 
pretty interesting. I've actually heard that before and how the lie just getting told over and over and over again just becomes fact in people's eyes. So that was just a real quick gist of the chapter. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog for tonight. Thanks again for being here with us and for sharing day number four five of beef butter bacon and eggs <laughs> we are trucking right along and for those who have joined in even if you're not doing beef butter bacon and eggs and you're commenting and getting involved and supporting us i appreciate you guys so much and i will see you tomorrow morning night guys